Okay. Oh, I love this one. I'm doing these for the art show in Sanford. It's for one week. And if they don't sell, I will sell them. Maybe. Well, I'll probably put them on Facebook. And if they sell there, they'll sell uh, pretty quickly. So if you're on Facebook, check it out. But anyway, I used this for my final coat. Krylon UV Archival Spray. I love the raised details with the hot glue gun and the gold and the paint pen that I use is Krylon Gold Leaping Pen which is on my Amazon recommendations link. I did a little bit of fine details with white acrylic paint and with 24 karat gold by Deco Art. And let me show you those bottles. Well, this is just a generic plastic bottle. You can put any acrylic paint in it. And these tips are uh, covered by Deco Art. You can get them on my Amazon link. It's just a tip and you can screw it onto any acrylic bottle paint you want to. Now, the metallics are going to stay a little bit raised because they have more pigmentation in them, the metallics, obviously. The white or any other just generic color will dry more flat and not stay raised because it's just acrylic paint. But because this is thicker, it will show up a little bit more raised. And also the beauty of this extreme sheen 24 karat gold as it really really shimmers but there's a fine tip needle when you unscrew the bottle and then take the lid off there's a needle that goes within a needle and that keeps it from jamming up I'm trying to get focused I don't know if it's focused or not so anyway there's a little needle right there on the tip and also these come apart in sections and you can clean them out very easily uh, with a toothpick and then you can put the needle inside the needle uh, point and that will automatically unclog anything in the needle. So they're super easy to clean with just warm water. So the little tiny areas where I put their feet See that gold? A little bit on the flower. Just around the in the yellow area. There's a little bit of metallic gold. And within the wings I have a few little shimmery stripes. But I absolutely love this one so much. Who doesn't love a hummingbird, right? So I'll probably put one more coat of a gloss the glossy UV archival spray because sometimes the first round will uh, it'll dry to where everything kind of looks the same but if you want it to be like nice and glossy like there's a wet spot right in this area and it's shinier than the rest and so if you put another coat on it'll just make it a, a bit shinier and actually this kind of art I would frame it but not put the glass in it because you want that raised effect to show because it's so beautiful. So I hope you learned something from this video. I hope uh, it inspires you to do beautiful projects. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.